Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. This is a five-minute segment. We'll have a 12-minute segment with David Icke. Then our reporters from the border with breaking news. Live video, audio feeds coming up. David, you got cut off by the break. I continue getting into how this programming works, which even read mainline psychology books, they admit, but the public isn't aware of it. And then I want to come back from break and talk about all the latest scandals, your new book, and what their world will look like if they get what they want versus the fairy tale happy transhumanism they're selling. Well, yeah, the, the transhumanism uh, agenda is absolutely fundamental uh, because they want to um, introduce technology to the human body. Because what, what we are, what we are is consciousness. That's our true, our true state. <laughs> Not form. That's just a, a, an experience of various kinds. We are consciousness. When people have near-death experiences and they leave the body and they can still see and they can suddenly they can they can uh, uh, understand uh, realities and perceive realities over multiple realities at the same time. So many endless people who've had near-death experiences uh, have told this same story. And when you come back in the body, if you like, what the body does is it locks you into this tiny frequency band called visible light. So when you leave the body, you leave that um, limitation uh, that the body concentrates our uh, reality, our attention, into this narrow band of frequencies. And what the um, controllers want, what the manipulators want, is to suppress our awareness, to suppress our consciousness, so we don't, don't expand beyond this frequency band. Because once you do, you start to see the world in a different way. Because most people at the moment, although it's changing, because they are so focused on the five senses, everything is filtered through the five senses. It means that they're in this world and they're of it. The, the only source of information they have to get a fix on who they are, where they are, world events, anything, is information when you're in that five sense mode alone coming through the eyes and the ears and who controls that the education system the uh the the media and and, and peer pressure uh, from people who've been through the education system and been programmed by the media so once you once you're in that mode you are little more than a computer terminal on an internet but when you um uh, expand your awareness beyond that point um, and, and you, you go beyond that, that uh, uh, limitation, you start to perceive things, you start to have insights because now although you're in this world in terms of your, your body and your uh, experience of this reality, you're not of the world totally in terms of your perception of reality. And when people expand their consciousness and start to, in effect, look into the world instead of being in it and of it, that's when you're called mad. That's when you're called crazy because you are seeing a reality that most other people aren't seeing. And I've used this analogy before, but I think it just so explains where we are. We live in a madhouse. And if you're born in a madhouse and, and you grow up in a madhouse, madness to you is sanity. And people who um, are come into the madhouse or can see, see beyond it and say, actually, this is a madhouse and this is why, th those that can see only the madhouse who think it's normal, that think it's sane, they think the people that can see beyond it are mad. This is what's gone on throughout um, uh, human, human history. And what the um, controllers want is they want to hold us in that five sense reality so we don't go into that greater expanded awareness of everything. And that's why if you look at the world, Alex, it's all about the five senses. 
uh, you know, touch this, smell this, look at this. It's all about pulling you into the five senses. Now, transhumanism is taking that a stage further. It's pulling you even further from expanded awareness into the five senses by technologically entrapping you in them. It's the new That's sixth sense. About. They want to shut off the sixth sense with a new artificial yes. consciousness. Stay there. General, what do you think about the FBI saying that there's a terror alert on Monday about a potential Fort Hood situation? The police are shoving people, shoving Alex, shoving the crowd. Here we go, folks. I'm being assaulted. Whether it's the radio show, the news websites, documentary films, or the nightly news, InfoWars is the tip of the spear. Is this another false flag stage attack to take our civil liberties and put more homeland security while sticking their hands down on the pants on the streets? It's up to us to set brush fires in the minds of men and women everywhere. And that's what PrisonPlanet.tv is designed to do. You watch the Assad regime is going to be blamed or accused of using chemical weapons against the so-called rebels. What we see now is a war against reality. It's a war against the truth. It's more vital than ever that supporters of freedom become members of PrisonPlanet.tv and share their membership with up to 11 friends and family. Visit InfoWarsNews.com today. Become a member, share your membership, and help take the InfoWar to the next level. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supply worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWarsStore.com and use promo code WATER to get 10% off their entire family of incredible products. Or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. We're talking about how the globalists openly try to shutter people's awareness, and that means putting you into a false kind of Times Square television box where they can feed you what they want. We're not even outdoors. But beyond that, transhumanism is sold as this empowering system, but it's all got Trojan horses in it to dehumanize and to take us beyond just the five senses into an artificial consciousness, synthetic uh, tyranny. And, and I want to finish up uh, on that subject with David Icke, get into some of the other things that are happening and where they'll take us if they're able to win. But, but, but first, throwing one more point out, uh, North American Union, they are completely getting rid of our borders. We know borders are an old tyranny, another construct. But you don't go to pure libertarianism by having open borders and saying millions can come here and get everything free. The globalists are pushing it because it's a new political block, again, for divide and conquer. And Breitbart reports uh, on the train of death to the U.S. 
all the way from Central and South America, all the way from El Salvador, right up uh, into the United States. The representative for the Catholic Relief Services told the Colorado Gazette, as well as other publications, that no, they load them up south of Mexico. And Mexico now lets them through as long as they stay on the train. They sit on the top. They fall off. They die by the thousands. This has been going on for months now, and they just let them come right to our border. Then the Border Patrol openly takes them, loads them on buses, and buses them deeper into the U.S. and releases them. We have that on video. Meanwhile... If I want to fly, they want to grow up my children, and they have army at the kite festival searching people. So clearly, David Icke, this is a total fraud. Petraeus told the London Telegraph that this is part of the new North American Union. Uh, can you briefly speak to that? Then I want to talk big picture with you. Well, I mean, uh, the great uh, block on this whole union network, whether it's the European Union or the North American Union and all these others around the world, is the nation state. And it is the sense of uh, self-identity or national self-identity, if you like. And one of the things you see in, in their documents when they're talking about how they're going to, that they were, they are doing it, when they were talking about how they intended to socially engineer society and get society how they want, one of the um, things was um, unfettered immigration. Um, this was in their um, technique to destroy a sense of national identity. Uh, and so in the European Union, of course, the very nature of the European Union is that within it, there are no borders in terms of people coming in and out, virtually no borders. And so um, you, what you're doing is you're taking loads of people from this culture and you're putting them in that culture and loads of people from that culture, you put them in that culture. And in the end, it's just one um, kind of universal uh, culture, if you like, this, the, the, the sense of national identity has gone. Now, Personally, I'm not a nationalist. Uh, you know, I you know I love the landscape of Britain, but you know I'm not you know oh Britain. I'm not, none of that stuff. But um, if we're going to be streetwise, we need to go beyond that and and understand why it's happening. And the, the more that you can uh, destroy a sense of national identity, this is the key. The more you're diluting resistance to having that national identity officially deleted by bringing these, these unions together. And of course, the um, Prime Minister of Italy has now come out and said that when they, he is, they have the presidency of Europe, he's gonna press for a United States of Europe. Well, what he is, is just a puppet because the United States of Europe was planned from well before the original common market ever started. And you were a conspiracy theorist if you said that, and you've, you've, you've broken it down so beautifully. It's not that you're just raw, raw USA. They're getting rid of the borders to then bring in groups who will vote to get rid of any semblance of Bill of Rights and Constitution and to form the new core of the social workers to prey on the old group, which is what they've done. I've had members of your parliament on. Most of the social workers are foreigners. This is their balkanization plan. They're erasing all cultures, and they've brought in economic systems in Latin America to enslave them, so they have no choice but to come up here. You can really see how they've rolled this whole plan down, and it's not that we're even against these immigrants. We've got to be streetwise and see if the globalists are for it, we need to be against it because it's part of a larger plan. Yeah, this is the, this is the point, Alex. Uh, you know, I mentioned earlier about divide and rule. Um, and what they do is they play off people that don't want mass immigration against the people who are coming in, the migrants. Um, and yet both, this is the thing we need to understand, both are um, victims of this cabal. The, 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 the immigrants coming into various countries in vast numbers um, are being used um, and manipulated just as much as the people in the country. And this is where we need, we, we, oh, And that's oh. how we communicate with them. I've actually been successful because we go past the paradigm and say, can't have you all in here getting everything free, but I love you. We need to make your country free and explain it to them. Uh, but it's just, it's just so incredibly sophisticated 
uh, what the globalists have done. Let's let's shift gears now. In the time we've got left with David Ike of DavidIke.com, I want to talk some about your book. Maybe even twist your arm till the bottom of the hour, but I know you're busy. David, what happens if they win? We know it's not the heavenly transhumanism Ray Kurzweil world because we've got the globalist owned documents. It's 90 plus percent population reductions. The rest of us merge with machines like something out of the Borg. Where